nothing very different from uh, the reasons... Please come forward, come forward. Yeah. Rohit Vemula has sacrificed his life. This is almost like the living experience that we are all uh, you know, having. We are passing through a certain phase which reinforces the idea that there are very discriminatory norms and that precisely is what our experience tells us. There was a situation where a person had lost his life. Here is an administration that is accused of causing uh, this death and this administration claims that it has legitimacy to carry on with its administration while it holds our faculty, our students in almost illegal detention in hostage for having broken few flower pots and uh, there was some damage to glass panels. That's the only case that they have. Now this is an accusation that is not even proven. And this happens precisely in a society which has highly discriminatory norms. It's a casteist society that precisely has this kind of an ordering where if the weak commit, okay. the weak in terms of the social ordering, and that's how we are placed. So when the weak commit mistakes, they get punished much, much more than when the strong commit mistakes. The strong can always have uh, you know, this kind of an impunity with which they commit crimes and yet uh, you know, they get away. So this is not nothing very different. It's a, it's a struggle with which or for which you have all, in fact, assembled here and therefore uh, this has to go on until you find the resolution for this. So this is something that has to deepen your commitment, your conviction and it basically suggests that there is so much of courage that despite being intimidated, despite there being so much of violence and fear, yet there are people here who voice and this is because what you are doing is right. So therefore, uh, friends, I think uh, you should carry on with this struggle because this is not for uh, you know, your own self. See, commitment and convictions are always, uh, there's a certain cost that we bear. But when you bear those costs, unlike the usual utilitarian frames, we get nothing in return except for the gratification that what we are doing is right. So therefore, uh, you know, keeping in view the courage that our friends have, the kind of messages that uh, they have sent from the prison, given the kind of enormous support, uh, you know, that is coming to you throughout the world. Don't feel, uh, you know, that you are isolated or that, uh, you know, this, this uh, whole battle is lost. No, it is not. There is still more to come. And all that you need to do is hold on to this hope. And this, this hope is what will, uh, you know, lead you through uh, from this kind of a context in which this is how things happen you know when when uh, you know fear is generated it seems as if uh, you know the time has come to some kind of a halt but for all that we know the maximum that this government has is three years the maximum that uh, you know violence that could have been committed is already committed so therefore there's nothing more that this power can do to us so therefore the more that we resist the more frustrated they become we should, uh, you know, carry on with our courage and perseverance and not give up. So therefore, with these, uh, you know, few words, of course, we have had this, uh, you know, press conference today. A large, uh, you know, number of uh, channels, uh, electronic media have turned up. Uh, and uh, once we have clarified, uh, because, see, and also I think uh, one word of caution, that never resort to any, uh, you know, kind of uh, acts because of which uh, the whole discourse can be subverted. I think this is a caution that everybody must keep in mind because there will be much more intimidation, much more instigation that will be there in future. Always remember that what you have been doing has evoked enormous support and sympathy and let us not allow the adversaries to somehow subvert the whole uh, you know, terms of discourse. To suddenly say that, see when, when the ministry's commission was here, you know, there's several hundreds of students who had assembled. They conducted themselves with utmost dignity and, uh, you know, self-restraint. There were several, uh, you know, uh, days of protest 
and not not once did there, did there uh, was there any uh, you know violence or anarchy. So therefore, we have utmost respect and faith in the student community, and therefore, uh, you know, we have this confidence that the struggle will go on until justice is delivered. For